The Los Cerritos Center is a regional shopping mall in Cerritos, California that opened in 1971. Thank you for all of your comments. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for my latest mall video, defunct store, occasional throwback Thursday or soda history. Leave a suggestion about a future video or memories of this mall. Thanks. The Cerritos Redevelopment Agency initially invested $30 million for the development of the Los Cerritos Center area. The 100-acre shopping area built at Gridley Road and South Street was developed by Ernest M. Hahn Incorporated in September of 1971 with the Phase 1 opening of the corridor from the Broadway Department Store to Orbach's and J.W. Robinson's. The mall also had an initial 150 specialty stores too as well. Phase 2 followed in 1971 with the opening of the wing from Orbach's to Sears. At its opening, the Los Cerritos Center was one of the area's first shopping malls and was noted for its high quality maintenance and complete climate controlled environment. The original goal of the center was to bring thousands of dollars of sales tax revenue to the city of Cerritos. In its first four years, the city of Cerritos retail sales grew tenfold, topping over $207 million in 1974. The Broadway was a three-level store with over 174,000 square feet of shopping space. J.W. Robinson's was a two-level store with 145,000 square feet. A two-level Orbax was about 85,000 square feet and that opened in March 24, 1972. A three-level 277,000 square foot Sears and 36 store North Wing was dedicated on May 11, 1972. The completed Los Cerritos Center now encompassed approximately 1,141,000 square feet of shopping area. Among some of the original tenants were Roos Atkins Apparel, Baker Shoes, Lane Bryant, The Limited, and F.W. Woolworth's Five and Dime, also Harvest House Cafeterias. There was also two cinematic venues, United Artists Mall Cinemas 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the United Artists Twin Cinemas A and B. The mall was expanded with a two-level Nordstrom's and 19 new stores, and they were officially dedicated on April 12, 1981. The mall now spanned approximately 1.2 million leasable square feet and housed over 150 stores and services. In December of 1986, Orbax was closed. The store reopened as Mervyn's in April of 1987. On January 31, 1993, J.W. Robinson's became Robinson's May. In 1996, the Broadway was rebranded as Macy's. A major renovation happened in 1994 with the original stained glass skylights being replaced. Marble and stone floors were installed throughout and the 13 Bay Palm Court Cafe Food Court was built in previously existing space in the North Wing. 
Moreover, each of the three mall ways were designated with a specific name and marketing focus. The garden extended between Mervyn's and Sears and had a family entertainment orientation. The Grand Hall ran from Nordstrom's to Robinson's May. Its theme was high fashion. And lastly, there was the avenue between Robinson's May and the Broadway Macy's. It was geared towards more general merchandise. By this time, the two cinemas at the mall had closed, Woolworths closed in 1997, and United Artists Galaxy 11 Stadium Seating Multiplex moved into the vacant space. The venue was dedicated on May 20th, 1998. Robinson's May closed in late 2006 and was demolished in 2008. The fourth renovation of the shopping hub got underway in December of 2008. In early 2009, Mervyn's closed and was thoroughly remodeled and reopened as Forever 21. In its place, a two-level 138,000 square foot Nordstrom's was built. The store opened on May 7, 2010. Ten retailers were added along with the new Nordstrom's. These included Apple Computers, Foreign Exchange Clothing, Vision Shoes, MAC Cosmetics, True Religion Jeans, Carlton Hair Salon, and Love Culture. With all the mall modifications completed, La Cerrito Center had over 1.3 million leasable square feet and over 180 shops and services. The La Cerrito Center experienced some new changes. The old Nordstrom and vacant 11-plex cinema was closed in February of 2014. Both structures were demolished in the summer of 2014 in anticipation of a $40 million mall expansion. A two-level 80,000 square foot Dick Sporting Goods was built on the old Woolworth United Artists Cinema site. The circa 1981 Nordstrom's was demolished and replaced by a one-level 55,000 square foot Harkins Cerritos 16 Megaplex. Realizing the importance of multiculturalism and diversity in the region today, the Los Cerritos Center, in conjunction with the city of Cerritos, is home to the Festival of Friendship. Held every February, cultural booths and performances are held annually with the goal of reaching out to the various diverse communities the center serves. The daily average attendance from January through November of 2010 was 22,100 people a day. December 2010 saw an average of 35,600 people a day. Los Cerritos Center is the most financially successful mall in the Southeast Los Angeles region. On September 18, 2011, the Kardashian sisters arrived at the Sears for the launch of their brand new clothing line, the Kardashian Collection. And speaking of that Sears, on October 15, 2018, it was announced that Sears would be closing as part of a plan to close 142 stores nationwide. The store closed on January 6, 2019. Today, I decided to make a visit to the Los Cerritos Center. I had stopped by the Westminster Mall an hour before, and to see the amount of people at this mall compared to the Westminster Mall is night and day. This was my first time going to this single level 1.3 million square foot shopping center. I was actually impressed by the enormous crowds as well as taken in this modern looking shopping center. The mall was almost completely leased out with the exception of a few storefronts, namely the former The Body Shop. The stores include Michael Kors, Guess, New York & Company, Uniqlo, Bath & Body Works, Apple Store, Coach, PacSun, Crocs, Tilly's, to name a few. The mall seemed very open and spacious, and the old mall seemed to be modern and updated. Los Cerritos has had four major renovations, with the last one being done in 2014, 
which revolved around the old Nordstrom and vacant 11plex cinema, which was closed in February of 2014. In the summer of 2014, both structures were demolished as part of the $40 million mall expansion. The new and second Nordstrom's is seen here. I started to read the Reddit posts about this mall, and many people asked why this mall is so much busier than the others around them. One reply was that the reason was it was more busier than Lakewood, Downey Landing, or Buena Park is due to the stores within the mall itself. Bigger brands attract more people, apparently. I noticed that this mall doesn't have as many mom and pop stores, massage shops, or more urban stores that sell shoes or others featuring K-pop or Funko Pops as other slower malls. Another commented by saying Cerritos is a lot like Irvine in that there's not much to do in either city except go to the mall or go out to eat. Plus the stretch of the south between the 605 and Pioneer is a major bottleneck for the immediate area from the I-605 to Pioneer and south to Alondra. Many exit off the freeway right into the mall area. The old Mervyn's seen here was replaced by a modern Forever 21. Some of the iconic stores and restaurants that once was a commonplace included Foot Action, Sabaros, Hot Dog on a Stick, McDonald's, and Panda Express. You might have remembered KB Toys, Time Out Arcade, Duda's Novelty and Gifts, and Pyro's Skate. This is the site of the old Nordstrom before it was demolished in 2014. The new Harkins Theater was built on its old location. I want to give a shout out to all of the viewers who took the time to make a comment about their memories about this mall in my past video. I encourage all of you to share your memories, old stores you remember, and maybe other information that I may have left out. Your comments are greatly appreciated, and I love to read all of them. A couple of viewers mentioned the stained glass windows that were part of the ceiling. It was nice to see a Hollister that was actually thriving at a mall, considering that there was an empty one in Westminster Mall and the Puente Hills Mall. In the next picture, you can see those iconic stained glass ceilings. The old Woolworth store was closed in 1997, and today it is a Dick's Sporting Goods. As I walked down the mall towards the old Sears, the mall made great efforts to hide the former anchor. The Sears that had opened in 1981 was closed and boarded up in 2019. The Palm Court Cafes was a food court with restaurants such as McDonald's, Steak Escape, Subway, and more. In 2015, the mall renovated it, turning it into a dining court and closing the McDonald's. Here's a look at the mall before the most modern renovation. And this is after. The Apple Store had lines due to the release of the new iPhone 15 that weekend. The Macy's looks modern from the inside, but on the outside, it still looks like the old Broadway when it was built in 1971. The remnants of the old Sears is seen outside the mall, with the old Sears sign torn down and the underground bays being blocked off. After leaving this mall, it is good to see that people still go to the mall and that this mall is still thriving. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot, shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? 
So if your answer is eight, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.